Hello everyone and welcome into this video in which we're going to show you how to quickly set up your cup to gloves and arms to work inside DCS. So at the moment we are utilizing the integration we have done through Steam so we are going to connect first the gloves to Steam and then inside DCS. DCS will though have uh, its own integration that is still in beta testing, we're still testing it with them, we're still working with them to uh, get the best results uh, possible in, and also in the uh, easiest way for the user. So uh, they will only need to put them on, open up DCS, they will see their own hands, they will set them up as they want and then be able to fly uh, whatever aircraft they like. So uh, for now we'll have to do uh, we'll have to do it through the Steam VR, and uh, it's a very quick process. So let's dive right into it. Let's start from the right glove. We're gonna have our right glove on an operation mode to be used as fingers, and then uh, go into setup fingers. By the way, we are utilizing the Capto Suite 2.0162, which at the moment of this video should be coming already out, and a firmware version of 196. Everything above that should uh, work the same or if not better. Uh, into fingers, set up and then uh, the only fingers we want to set up is the index bending, we want the key trigger enabled, we want the trigger range from 90 to 100 and then we want an emulated device uh, as the controller and the emulated function the trigger. We want our index to be the trigger of our uh, VR controller that we are simulating which inside DCS will be our own end. So uh, index bending, we have it set to 90 to 100. I want it to activate only when it's in this range, in this range here, when I go to 90. And I want it to be activated, the uh, firing limit of zero. So I want it to be activated as long as I keep it bent 90 to 100. Uh, then into middle bending, we want key trigger enabled, trigger range of 90 to 100, emulated device, the controllers, and we want here a grip. And the same firing key limit. Then we're going to move into the pinky bending, key trigger enabled, 90 to 100, the controllers, and we want the reset current hand. We'll look at what this button actually does in once we open up uh, our Steam VR. The firing key limit to this one, we want it set to 1. Now, uh, we we will upload the setup. If this button is red, always press it to, keep it to make it green. So it's saving all the changes that you're making. It's saving it inside the ports of your gloves. And then for the next one, the left glove, we do exactly the same thing. Pinky bending, 90 to 100. Uh, reset, reset current end, 1. Firing key limit to 1. Key trigger enabled middle bending, key trigger enabled, 90 to 100, controllers, grip, index bending, trigger, 90 to 100, zero, key trigger enabled. So, and then obviously you will press this button here every time you make a change, he wants this to be saved. So, you just press this button. Now, uh, we have done these things, our uh, Capto sensors are connected, they are both uh, with the lights on. We have our hands uh, are connected, we can also see it through the suite. Now, uh, we are ready to start Steam VR. We have our VR headset connected and we just start Steam VR here from the suite. Why this? Because it's going to open up this page here and it's going to try to connect each and every sensors that we have written here. If you have not already, you will need to write here the numbers of your uh, arms and sensors. So right capto glove is this one and it's named in this way. It's case sensitive, so capital letters, remember C, G, and then the number that is assigned to your glove. Once you connect them, you can find this number. Uh, the right uh, capto arm the same, mine is 1562, and this one is 864. So let's open up Steam VR view so you can see what I can see. Here we are. So here we're gonna check if there are some errors. So right now I can see that my left hand is working, my right hand ain't. Arms at least are being red, and then we're going to fix them. 
So our icon is didn't connect properly. So what do we do? We close the VR and we repress it again until we get a good connection. So here we are. Right hand is working, left hand is working, arms are going opposite, but they're doing what they're supposed to. So, what do we do to fix now and have an accurate movement is press the K button on the keyboard to activate the emulation or we do it from the suite. And then we place our arms as close as possible to our body. The lights on the arms facing backwards. Why this? They need to be exactly 90 degrees, exactly not, but as close as possible to 90 degrees with the lights facing backwards, just as they are on the gloves at this moment. The lights are all facing backwards. So I try to have them at, at 90 degrees close to my body, uh, my hands facing forwards the exact uh, way my head is uh, looking at, where my face is pointing. So if I'm painting forward, I'm gonna go forward. If I paint, uh, go down, I'm gonna go down also with my hands. Uh, so I'm just going to have them forward, look forward, and then we bend our pinkies once. And now we have calibrated the position of our controllers. We check them. They seem to be working as I want them to. Go out. This goes out. This goes down. We're calibrated. We'll look at these options right here for a moment. So what do these do? These ones, they will also be present inside the DCS integration. And uh, uh, basically they can adjust the starting position of the controllers based on your preferences. So this one does the forearm. So it's gonna push it backwards or more forward. This is based on all on your preferences. I'm going to set it to, to around 40. That's about what I feel is right. And then the arm length. This is the, your bicep basically length. I have it at this position. And the arm height offset. This basically just has uh, uh, set the Y axis or where you want your... Uh, the starting position, as you can see, just moving the uh, the controller a little higher. I want to set it around nine minus ten. That feels more natural to me. And this is the shoulder length. So how wide your shoulders are, the bigger the number, the more it's going to separate the starting position of the tube. I have it set at ten. Works fine for me. Uh, now that we have done this. Uh, our uh, gloves are not, should now be totally working inside DCS, so we'll just remove the emulation, we'll close the VR view, and we'll open DCS. So, we're going to program, DCS, bin, DCS. Okay. So now DCS is going to open up inside VR, and we should already see our hands and our arm. Uh, we should already see our hands working. We'll start the emulation. We'll see that our fingers are working, and then we'll go inside the UH1H to check some buttons. We'll wait for it to open. I'll probably cut this part. Okay, so here we are inside DCS. We, want, we have uh, uh, pressed the calibration button, uh, the emulation button again, the K button, so now our fingers are working. So if I press uh, uh, the middle finger, I do the, uh, I do the grip in, of the controller, which is the laser pointer. And then with the index bending, I can press the uh, actual button that I'm pointing at. So. Uh, if you're not seeing your hands at this point inside the uh, DCS, the point is that you need to go to settings up here, 
you need to go into special special needs to be the capital glove special needs to be disabled because this will be the integration and uh, it's in beta testing right now so it's still not working properly what we need to do is go into VR and uh, enable the virtual reality headset use the mouse use the cursor confined to game window and uh, use and controllers this will show you your gloves if they don't uh, if this was unticked and then you take it and uh, uh, they're still not showing close this yes retry the process again uh, but close this yes with this ticked. so we go into ok instant action let's fly our UH into a free flight and let's check the buttons this is gonna take a little bit of time so I'm gonna cut this part as well hello so we are inside the we are inside the UH1H now and uh, uh, we have our hands working we have we need to press the K button to start the emulation again we reset the position the starting position that we like right here okay and now we have our hand we have our left hand we can use it to control the arrow and with the index by bending the middle finger we open up the arrow and uh, with my index finger I can then press the buttons on the cockpit this one for example this turning ones I can just click based on the times I want it to uh, turn and then uh, um, we can have these ones for example done as well these ones we can do them by reaching with our hand close and uh, uh, once the finger uh, by still bending the middle finger and then once we get to the bottom we just go close to it and once it gets close it's gonna pop and then we can then press the button side of it and then we can reclose it as well then we have uh, all these buttons here they're all pressable this way exactly and then knobs knobs they're still working a bit uh, not as we want them to so you press them and then you need to go left and right to move them you need to hold them a couple of times but this is the way they work right now with the uh, DCS integration we're gonna do them with actually grabbing them and being able to turn your hand to then uh, to then turn the knob another cool feature is if you have your own joystick of course and your hand will be somewhere here and you have your hand also on the joystick in VR this can actually be controlled with having a hand on it so we find this feature pretty pretty cool and the same is for the uh, part here that I can control with my hand on it so this is how it works right now the DC, the steam vr integration we think is a pretty fine solution for people that do not want to search for the mouse they want to see their hands they want to try to t they want to go for the controls and for those also don't want to actually reach for them look for them each time they already know they could just be doing it with the uh, arrow with the pointing arrow and just press the button and do, and get back into the flying so we hope that uh, you liked uh, we hope you liked uh, this into that, this video this part and uh, we always look forward to you getting in touch with us because uh, uh, the community is what has helped us to get to this point and uh, all the improvements we have made is all thanks to the feedback we have received from our beta testers and uh, they are users just like you and uh, mm, they send us uh, uh, their own ideas and their own uh, and their own instructions on how they would like to have the glove work and uh, we think that uh, the solution we have right now is something that uh, is very close to uh, the solution that you guys are looking for and we know there is still some work to do especially on the knobs and uh, a better pressing of the buttons but this is coming in the DCS integration but if in the meanwhile you already want to get your gloves uh, 
uh, going inside DCS and want to start uh, seeing uh, the power, uh, the usage and the power that these gloves can give you inside your uh, uh, inside the cockpit of your airplane or, air, or helicopter. Uh, we cannot wait to see you uh, sending us all the videos and all the feedback from this. So uh, check it out. Let us know uh, if the tutorial is uh, uh, enough helpful for you to get it started. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Hopefully we'll be the one for the DCS integration. So uh, have a great day and uh, we'll see you soon.